hi everyone this video is about the selection statement first we'll explain the if selection statement then if else and then switch if statement is used to execute a particular block of statement like this if this thing happen we'll do this and if this thing happen we'll do this to be more practical if there is a rain today I'll take an umbrella so now let's move to uh, code thing so you'll get a more technical perspective of it it is written like this if the round braces here is the condition which will be either true or false like I'm writing here if 5 is greater than 3 and uh, there is a body of if I'll empty here printf true so if 5 is greater than 3 yes which is true then true will be printed on the screen we'll just compile it and run it like true is printed on the screen so I'll just make this condition false then true will not be printed on the screen like this and true is not printed on the screen so if this condition results in true then this block will work and if it is false the block of if will not work this condition is results into one the this condition which is highlighted this the if condition is only understands either one or zero suppose I am writing here just five I told you that any other value in C except zero is true so five is true so this if block will work if I write here zero this will not work I'll add here some negative value which is also a true value because it is not zero so this will work so by this you can understand about if so now move on to if else if else is the next selection statement this is same as of if just an additional else parted as it added so if I to be more practical here if it is rain today I'll take an umbrella else I will not the else part it added so I'll just copy the if part from here and just paste it here and uh, make it uh, 5 greater than 3 at the starting and uh, added a else part here I'll just write printf false uh, so compile it and run it because 5 is greater than true 3 so true is printed let's make it this condition false so now false will be printed so in the if part there is no like if condition fails no part will execute but in if else part if a condition is fails so an else part will execute and uh, there should not be more anything written in between this like uh, if and else part because else this else is related this else is related with if if we compile it it will give you a compile time error else without a previous if so there should not be anything written between these two and if I remove this if part from here uh, like this I'll remove this if part from here and just the else part then also the same error else without a previous if so else is related with if 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 is there then only else will be there else not so by this you are uh, clear with the if else thing now switch is the next selection statement we'll move to switch switch is more like of a menu driven statement switch works on cases like if uh, it is press 1 for this press 2 for this it is more like of that to make you understand the switch what I'll do I'll declare three variables int a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and uh, c is equal to 3 by understanding switch you will understand one jump statement also which we have covered before the break statement but it will uh, separately covered also so I'll just write the switch here switch I'll just write a here this is the argument of the switch it takes uh, as a as an input now I will write cases here case there is a space between this is case 1 and uh, we'll write some printf case 1 here and uh, break here I'll tell you about this break later on we'll write the case 2 here printf we'll write case 2 I'll write again break here this break I'll write case 3 then printf 
case 3 then a break here then we'll write the default statement the default st statement it is written because if any of the cases will not work then this default statement will work so I'll just compile it and run it see because it takes a one as an input then the case one will be executed break is written because after break this come out of the switch body when this will execute this will execute the break and it will not execute any of the cases below suppose if I remove this break and just put us compile here and case 1 case 2 because there is no break here so case 2 will automatically be executed suppose I remove a break from here also uh, just do this case 1 case 2 case 3 because I remove the break from here so I'll just put the break uh, back again now I'll replace this A by B C case 2 I'll remove this by C case 3 and I'll remove this by 5 because none of the cases here then the default statement will work C default so we understand switch by this means in switch we understand uh, two or three let's revise those the input written is here that case only will work if the input recent written here doesn't match any of the cases then the default statement will work break will stop the execution here and uh, takes the control out of this block wherever the break is encountered this is all about the selection statement and in the next video we'll study about the iteration statements thank you